Scott from WFLBC and I have had a couple of requests from you guys about a certain accessory that you guys keep seeing on pretty much all of my cameras. So I'm going to do a video about them, it, whatever you want to call it. I've got different versions of the same thing for different cameras. Obviously they're not universal and what I'm talking about are L plates. So uh, this particular L plate uh, it's also a grip, is for my X-T20. You can't see this on the camera because I'm filming on my X-T20, which is in a whole cage that I use for filming. But I'll use this one just as an example of off the camera so I can show you how they work. Here's one on a camera, I'll use this one. This is my L-plate on my X100. So as you can see, it adds a really nice chunky grip to this side. Um, and then it adds this plate on the bottom and this plate on the side. This plate on the side is removable, but the plate still gives you access to your autofocus switch, which is right under here. It gives you access to the battery and memory card slot, and it moves the tripod screw over so you can use a tripod on here and still have access to your battery and memory card, something that you don't get on really any Fujifilm X-Series camera unless you're shooting on the X-T2 and X-T3. Did the X-T1 have Memory card slots on the side, uh, it might have, but the two and the three definitely do, and the X-H1 does as well. But the rest of them, memory card and battery, same door on the bottom. Fujifilm X-Series cameras are meant to be small and retro looking, and what that means is they don't have really good grips. For somebody with big hands, they can be problematic. Now, I don't have big hands, I've got pretty regular sized hands, but I've always found the grips really small. Now the X-H1 does have a pretty beefy grip on it and it comes with that top display as well. So it's very DSLR-like. Uh, a lot of other mirrorless cameras also have big grips, but Fujifilm, just the aesthetic that they're going for, the big grip is not something they're gonna have on their cameras. So when you put an L-plate on, you get a nice grip to hold on to. So, most of the grips that I use are from a Chinese company called Niwer. This is not a sponsored video. I bought all of these with my own money. I'll uh, try to link them down below. The model numbers kind of change regularly, so hopefully I'm still able to link them. But uh, this is the Niwer NWX100 case. So this works on the X100 and the X100S. There is a different cage for the X100 T and the X100F because obviously the design tweaked slightly, especially with the X100F, the battery changed, so the bottom of the camera got completely different. This is the grip for my X-T100, and this one is a little bit different. It's not by Niwer. I don't remember the company. I'll try to find the link for it below. It was on Amazon, but it's not Prime, so I had to wait like a week for it or something. Like That seems like a big deal now that I have to wait a week for something. Amazon has absolutely ruined me. Same plate on the bottom, plate on the side. I'll show you what those do in a minute. And uh, same nice thick grip with a nice little contour for your finger there, or for your middle finger actually, and then this finger goes on the shutter button. Really comfortable, great to hold. Goes well with the built-in thumb grip on this camera. It's just a nice balanced package. They're all made out of aluminum, so they're nice and light. Uh, they don't add a lot of weight to these cameras, which already are nice and compact and light anyways. But this particular grip and bracket has something different than my other three. This one's got uh, tripod screw holes all the way down the side of the grip, all over the bottom of the camera, and all over that side as well. Well, not all over, but whatever. Uh, so you can mount all sorts of accessories to this grip. So it's kind of like a cage grip combo. I like this grip. This is my favorite grip. So I'm going to put these aside and uh, just show you this one again. So this plate on the side, I'm gonna pull my tripod in here. This is just a regular tripod with a standard Acra Swiss uh, plate on top. There you can see it, um, very universal. A lot of tripods have this particular type of plate system on top. 
these are Acro Swiss compatible. So what you do is the plate just goes in here, you tighten up this screw, and then your camera's on a tripod. And if you want to switch the orientation, say you've got everything set up here, everything's level, all you do is you loosen this off and you flip your camera up sideways and you tighten it up and then you're perfectly level that way. So that's what that side plate's for. Uh, here's what that looks like with an actual camera because that's probably more useful. Okay, so there we are. We're on our tripod, nice and secure. We've got a ball head on this tripod so we can orient this any way we want and then it's level and everything's perfect and say, oh man, I want to switch to portrait orientation. Instead of moving your tripod, all you do is you loosen that off, boom, you turn your camera this way, you tighten it back up on that side of the plate, you're still level, you're still aimed exactly where you were before, and you're on your tripod and you're nice and sturdy. So these are great. These are fantastic for travel. Um, they're especially for these Fujifilm X-Series cameras that have this battery door that the normal tripod plates get in the way of. This really helps because normally what you would do is you'd have a tripod plate on the bottom and when you took it off of here you'd have to remove the tripod plate to open up the battery door and change the battery. It's really annoying so this makes life a lot easier. Um, there is one issue. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm using the flimsiest tripod right now. This is my normal filming tripod so I've got like this it's really sketchy. I don't, want, I don't want to show it to you guys. You'd be scared. This one is actually pretty interesting because of the screen on this X-T100 because it's articulating. It doesn't actually work with this plate on the side. You can't tilt it all the way out. So every one of these that I have, uh, I've got the Allen key somewhere here. Hold on. Okay, so every one of these that I have, they've got a screw on the side and I don't know what number it is, but uh, the Allen keys come with these things. I've actually tightened that up really tight for some reason. But you just, um, you loosen them off, and then you can take these this side plate off. You do lose the ability to flip this particular camera up sideways, but I mean, it's a nice clean look on that side as well. It's just got two little alignment holes and then the screw hole to attach it. Uh, and then you can fully articulate the screen around, which is what you want, right? Anyways, just a, just a super quick video about L-plate slash grips. This is a must-have accessory for me for all of my Fujifilm cameras, just because I like to have a bit more secure of a grip. They're nice and lightweight. Specifically, this one's got a lot of uh, attachment points, so you can use it kind of like a cage. And um, I also think they look kind of cool, so that's just me. Uh, I'll try to link all of them below if they're still available, especially this one, because like I said, it is my favorite. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. Uh, follow me on Instagram at WFLBC. Don't follow me on Twitter at WFLBC because uh, you just shouldn't. I'm terrible on there. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>